Significant TV, Significant Stories. I'm Fran McNeil, host of Significant TV, and joining me today is Robin Collier, CEO of 5D Technology Solutions. Cybersecurity, that's our hot topic these days. Smart cities, smart data, smart manufacturing. What do those mean for governments and what do those mean for citizens? Robin Collier is going to give us some insight on why that matters to you and to us. Robin, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me today, Fran. Now, you commute between multiple cities. You're in Philadelphia, yes. you're in DC, you're a mom, you're a CEO. <laughs> yes. Um, tell us, how does that all work? Well, I refer to it as my personal circus, oh. um, and hence it's a juggling act. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, I'm the owner and president of 5D Technology Solutions. We started this company about two years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm a mother and a wife and a daughter and a friend. And so I just do my best to try and give everything uh, my all. Mm -hmm. I try to be mindful and be in the moment, uh, focus on what my task is at hand, and then once I successfully complete that, move on to the next. That sounds great. Well, you know, technology is in our lives in so many ways. And unfortunately, technology can have sort of a dark side. Yes. And hence, cybersecurity is so important in so many ways. Yes. Share with us how your company, 5D Technology Solutions, makes a difference. Sure. So my firm has three main areas of focus um, in business sectors. The first is smart city development and adoption across the globe. The second is the adoption of smart manufacturing. And then the third is the provision of cyber security for local and uh, public municipalities and state and private enterprises. We provide end-to-end -end solutions um, from the actual project design, strategy, architectural mapping, and all the way through uh, for execution as well. And so we really like to provide a customized experience in which we really walk hand in hand with our clients, understanding what their critical business initiatives are, their milestones, and most importantly, helping them to overcome their challenges, all while doing so in a smart technology enabled um, arena. Okay, well, you mentioned earlier your personal circus. Yes. D the activities that you're involved in sounds like juggling. And ma as a matter of fact, project management is really useful because there's so many moving parts. Absolutely. And um, it helps vendors, it helps clients kind of keep on top of things. Yes. Let's start with that first topic, smart cities. Sure. Um, what are they? Are they all over the United States? Yes. Are they international? And just topping off the multitude of questions, why do they matter? Why don't you start there? Sure. Why do smart cities matter? Sure, sure. So smart cities, if you would, let me let me actually back up just a little bit. Smart, if you would, from a definitive perspective, is the use of standardizing, monitoring, accounting, rethinking, and transitioning. Ah, so it's an acronym. Okay. It can be, right? Okay. Um, okay. You know, uh, if you look at the Internet of Things, people mm -hmm. refer to your phone as smart. Right. Um, but it's really kind of taking the technology to the next level mm -hmm. and helping to enable government and businesses and citizens to make better decisions. Mm -hmm. So if you were to almost create a circle or a diamond where you would have smart government, smart mobility, smart homes, smart buildings, smart technology, smart healthcare, um, and then smart citizens. It is providing them with transparency, access to data, so that they can make better decisions. Wow, okay. So on a um, sort of tactical, practical level. Yes. As a mom, let's say it's 2025. What yes. would that look like for sure, you? Sure, sure. So 2025, maybe I'm on the, the second half of my lifespan, mm -hmm. my lifespan. Uh, maybe I'm taking some, uh, some medication, mm -hmm. right, on mm -hmm. a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Whatever the reason is, I'm keeping my ticker going, I'm keeping my weight down, who knows. Mm -hmm. uh, and I need to be reminded mm -hmm. that it's time for me to take my medication. Mm -hmm. Well, unlike now, where traditionally we have something physical that says Monday, Tuesday, through Sunday, mm -hmm. now I might be able to use my phone and it alerts me and beeps and says Robin and actually talks to me. 
Robin, it's time to take your medicine. It's 10 a.m. Wow. Um, or Robin, uh, you are running late and you need to leave now to go pick up your son. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect example of actually being able to use smart uh, technology as far as a citizen is concerned. Mm -hmm. When you expand your conversation and talk about the government, let's just take clean water, for example, or, or at this juncture across the seas where there, uh, there are populations that do not have clean water. Right. Right. Now there are sensors that are in place where it can alert the manufacturers that something is amiss, something is awry, something is broken and needs to be tweaked. And now we are able to improve the output and the process that is used to develop and provide clean energy to um, oh, citizens. Okay, so that would be the component with smart manufacturing. That's right. Okay. That's okay. right. Um, you know, when you think about smart cities, think about the Jetsons. True. Okay. Yes, okay. literally, where, you know, they went home. As soon as they walked in the door, it said, you know, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Jetson. Right. The robot came that, that's and offered. That's a cartoon, right? Yes, a cartoon. <laughs> offered a pie a because they knew right. that was their favorite food. Right. Um, they walked out and their car pulled up. Mm -hmm. They hopped into it, um, just like iRobot. Mm -hmm. And they sped off to whatever their destination was. Mm -hmm. And it was a flying car, wasn't it? Flying car, right. yes. Right. Yes, there are flying cars that are, that are currently in production. Mm -hmm. There are smart uh, transportation buses mm -hmm. and taxis that are in production, as well mm -hmm. as the roadways to accommodate where, you know, we don't have to think mm -hmm. as much. As much, right. as much. Not that humans are going to be replaced. Yes, yes. How about cybersecurity? Sure. Where does your firm fit in there and um, what services do you provide specifically related to cybersecurity? Sure. So mm -hmm. we offer penetration testing, mm -hmm. uh, which is almost a, a, the ability to provide an analysis of your environment and your network mm -hmm. and expose uh, what risks you have. And then taking that analysis to the next level and then providing you with a map, a detailed map on how to close that gap. Okay. And ultimately providing the skilled labor to actually execute and help you mitigate that risk. Uh, we also offer services from a consultative perspective all the way through the execution with regards to ransomware. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how familiar you or your viewers are, um, but if you've ever had your phone or your computer hijacked, where I they demanded know money. where that happened, yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's petrifying, it's terrifying. Right. Uh, there is a story of a hotel from Europe that was hijacked and their guests were locked in the rooms. Oh my goodness. Until the, uh, until, uh, the hijackers received their, their fee. So it's terrifying. Uh, and, and my firm and our technologists specialize in helping to um, create a protection mm -hmm. and multiple layers to combat against the hijackers. You're doing important work. On this show, it's always kind of cool to go behind the scenes and find out the significant story that sort of put the entrepreneur that's in that seat yes. on that path. Yes. What's your significant story? My significant story, uh, it's a pretty, pretty uh, loaded question. Sure, uh, you, know, sure. you I can think, take it wherever you want. Okay, thank okay. you. Uh, for me, as an African-American woman in a male and majority dominated industry, mm -hmm. um, technology, it is an opportunity for me to let my light shine, if you would. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the past 20 years or so, I've always worked in corporate America. I have served in three different industries, beginning my career in finance, transitioning mm -hmm. into healthcare, um, in pharmaceutical sales and medical equipment, and then now into technology. And so I've always served others. I've, I've been blessed to, um, to learn under the tutelage of great leaders and work for some outstanding uh, organizations. And what I've done is really just culminated all of that information, taken my, uh, my experiences, and completely dedicated all of that into 5D technology solutions. It's important for me to leave a mark both for other women across the globe mm -hmm. that are struggling to have a voice, to have a seat at the table, to even just have education. I'm blessed again to have my master's in business and leadership and my undergraduate undergraduate degree in finance and you know I want to make sure that I'm able to strive forward for my children but also reach back and help other people 
And so uh, it's important for me, both in my home life and my professional life, to embrace excellence in everything that I do. Uh, acknowledging that I will probably never ever really achieve excellence. No, no. <laughs> but it's a good goal to aim have. For it. I will aim for it, absolutely. right? Aim, aim for, for the it. stars and, and reach the moon. Um, absolutely. And the rest of the planets on the way. Well, let's talk about your logo. Yes. And how did you come up with the name 5D Technology Solutions? Because I'm sure some of our viewers are, are wondering that. Absolutely. I know the story. Yes. But share that story. Yes, sure. So 5D stands for Fifth Dominion. Uh, technology solutions, you know, stands for solutions related to technology. Mm -hmm. But the fifth dominion actually is an extension of what once was the fourth dominion, um, in which the U.S. has historically fought wars on four different dominions, mm -hmm. land, air, water, and space. And the fifth dominion is now cyber. Mm -hmm. And so our solutions embody all things that are cyber uh, and related to the Internet of Things. Wow. Internet of Things, yes. explain that briefly, and then we'll circle back to, again, your personal circus sure. and sure. how, um, sort of, what keeps you motivated to Absolutely. be successful. Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things, I, you know, it's a, a growing buzzword, but also yes. a, a growing uh, process and product in which our world is now bombarded with these things, right? Smartphones smart TVs, smart technology, mobility, um, and the list just continues to grow and grow and grow. And so what is challenging, I think, as a consumer is, number one, having so many different options, um, keeping up with the speed that things are constantly changing, which is literally every second. Right. And right. if it's, if it's uh, a convoluted process for us as a consumer, imagine as an organization that has multiple layers and or government in which there are uh, you know, so many bureaucratic layers to even right. embrace new technology, more or less enable it. Um, you know, my firm specializes in being that beacon of light in the midst of this storm and confusion to really help guide this, those decisions and help to support the adoption of, um, of this technology, as well as partnering with some of, you know, the most bleeding and cutting edge organizations across the globe. Wow. Robin, again, let's go back. You are a successful woman. And in two years, you've taken your corporate experience and created a firm. Yes. What's a brief lesson learned or tip for other women who are at the cusp mm -hmm. of making that decision? Sure. Sort of the one minute version because our 15 minutes is almost up. Okay, wow. <laughs> sure. I would say listen to your heart, mm. um, listen to your gut, Follow your dreams, follow your passion, um, acknowledging that obviously our, our primary role as, as wife and mother certainly don't, don't become second to your professional goals. Mm -hmm. But there, there is a way to do it all. You can. Mm -hmm. um, and be mindful. That's like kind of a new concept for me, really embracing the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, taking that time, making that time, creating that time in your, your daily life to have time with yourself will help you elevate your mind, your spirit, and your ultimate outcomes. Wow. I really appreciate that you were able to be here today. I know that later on you'll be in D.C. <laughs> yes. and you go back and forth yes, and back and yes. forth. Yes, yes. Thank you. And uh, it's been wonderful. It's been my pleasure. You Thank you here. so much for having yeah. me. This is a fantastic Thank opportunity. You. And I celebrate you with your Thank success you. and your achievement with this, this, uh, this segment. Mm -hmm. And just congratulations onward and upward to you with much more success. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Significant stories. You know, it really is about entrepreneurs expressing themselves in different ways. Robin Collier, CEO of 5D Technology Solutions, is another example of how African-American women can be pioneers and juggle life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Continue to watch us, Significant Stories, Significant Entrepreneurs.